Absolutely, because I was standing at the line getting ready to snap the ball, and I was focused on the front seven, the D linemen, the linebackers, and the opportunity was in the secondary. The concern I had on Monday was that the weakness that was exhibited in Facebook was going to pull down the rest of mega cap equities. We had basically had a complete erosion in the rally for Amazon. I was focused on the wrong thing. What I should have been focused on and what was so compelling was the story that was being told yesterday and kind of studying the macro, you could see it build. You had yields rising to its highest level since 2019. You had a fundamental story about pricing power from Tyson Foods. Yes, they were able to pass it through. You had a Bank of America report on consumer spending. Yes, incredibly resilient, second highest. Amazon Prime raising their prices. So what I saw yesterday that really got me to reverse and audible at the line was breath. You had breath within the market. And the focus should not be at this moment what the impact of the mega cap equities ultimately going to be, Scott. It's about can capital go to other places? Is the welcome mat finally out in small caps, in mid caps, which are outperforming? Is the welcome mat out for equally weighted strategies, which are now outperforming cap weighted strategies? The welcome mat is open. It's there in international, developed economies, emerging markets. So I thought my enemy was going to be price. And I thought my enemy was going to be price just because the magnitude of mega cap equities. The real enemy is just time. It's really just a matter of marking time and getting to the moment where the Federal Reserve is, is ultimately going to let us know 25, 50 basis points. And what does that all really matter at the end of the day? I think in terms of the price damage, it absolutely unfolded in January, even if we were, even if we were to retest the lows once again, which I assign a very low probability, you're not going to get hurt there. There's going to be a recovery. It's just a matter if it's a V or a U. And I, and I apologize to the viewers for Monday coming out and saying I was worried about mega cap equities. I saw it standing at the line yesterday. I was focused on the wrong thing. The opportunity was in the secondary. The breath is absolutely there. I saw it reflected in agriculture names like, uh, that I own, like John Deere and Archer Daniels, Midlands. Look at Freeport McMahon. Look at the materials. Look at financials. Breath is present. That's a great thing for the market. And it signals that Tom Lee might just be right about a rally.